Hello everyone, sorry I couldn't be with you today. I uh, had some obligations that came up that um, I uh, cannot change plans for, um, which unfortunately uh, coincided with our meeting time today. So um, what I decided to do is I'm just gonna um, put everything I need to tell you in this video and that'll be it. So um, first things first, um, before we begin, um, this will be the last week that we have meetings, um, meaning that we will not get together next Thursday. Um, that's actually the last day of class as well. But um, yeah, there's no need for us to get together because everything that I tell you today is everything you're going to need to know for the remainder of the semester. So um, yeah, so without further ado, um, let's go ahead and get started. So um, we have persuasion this week. Um, study guide, notes, crossword are the same as it's been in the past, um, just about the study guide based on the video um, of the notes that are here, and then you can use those to also to fill out the crossword. Just answer the questions, all artists fill out, just put in the words all on the second page, and then um, turn that in. Um, also, you do have a persuasive speech this week that is due on Friday. Um, Just like the informative speech, uh, just go through the checklist, make sure all these things are, are there. Um, the scoring guide is for me to use. This is what I grade you on, so just make sure you have each of these things and you all will be fine. And then take um, your typed speech and copy and paste right down here at the bottom. And then you'll have the turn in button up in the corner um, to turn it in. And then you'll go on to Flipgrid and record your speech, just like you've done um, with all your other presentations in here as well. Um, also, you have the persuasion test. Um, on the persuasion test, um, just like the Google uh, forms that you've done in the past, the password to take it is bandwagon, go through and take the test, and then that'll be done as well. Um, one last thing on the speech before uh, I move on, I forgot to tell you, um, with the persuasive speech, just like the informative speech, uh, about three to five minutes long, introduction, body, conclusion, um, and that's it. Uh, for topics, I have gave you a range of topics to choose from. All you need to do is tell me whether or not you agree um, or disagree with the statement. With this one, it's a little more research, um, so you're more than welcome to go through um, use Google browsers, um, anything you need to for research, and then um, just turn those in. Um, the written speech on the checklist and then the presentation through Flipgrid. So moving on to small group. Um, if you notice today the small group unit was released, I went ahead and just put everything out at once. Um, so for the study guide. It's just like it's been in the past. Just fill it in. It's based on these notes right here. Um, these notes are a little bit different than what you've done in the past. It's not a video um, and it's not Nearpod. It's a program called Deck Toys. Um, it's a little more interactive gaming type uh, program that you can use. Um, so with this one it says create a student account. You do not have to do that. You can if you want to, but you do not have to. Um, my suggestion is just to sign in this guest student and then it'll give you some weird name. Just go ahead and click OK and then just go through and do each of the scenarios. The blue will be the notes while the browns are the activities. So you'll just go through and do the activities. Um, You'll just follow the trail all the way down until you get to the finish. Um, and then while you're doing this, you're going to fill out the study guide. So while you're going through the notes, um, make sure and fill out the study guide. Go ahead and answer those. So once again, on the study guide, you'll just turn it in through Google Classroom. If you notice on this one, um, I didn't put the crossword on there. You don't have to worry about that one. Um, what you're going to do instead is you're going to do the small group comic book. Um, 
for the small group comic book, you're going to use Google Slides. Um, if you go down here, you'll see that there are some examples of some small group comic books that have been done in the past. Um, you're more than welcome to use those as inspiration for your own. Um, but I would like you to, of course, to, you know, to create your own uh, small group uh, comic book. Um, for the comic book, it has to be at least five characters, each of them playing uh, multiple roles. Um, and then um, it's basically created around a story. So each character will have their own personality. And, you know, as a, as a group of characters, they're trying to solve a problem. So that's what you'll use for um, for your characters is the leader, um, an information provider, a clam, a side tracker, a bully, a social emotional leader, a whiner, a glory hog, a grouch, and a clown. Those are your characters. Now, like I said, there's five characters, but there's ten roles. So that means each character can play two roles. So... Um, keep that in mind. If you want to have more than five characters, if you want to have just ten characters with each person playing their own, you're more than welcome to do that as well. Um, and then just go ahead and use, you can use Google Images or you can use Clipart or you can create characters from scratch and then just put some dialogue boxes um, for um, the exchange of words and then when you're done just turn in the slides um, presentation on Google Classroom. At the beginning of the class, um, on the first day, there were some how-tos um, for how to find and turn in assignments on here. Um, this is really good for uh, learning how to get a Google Slides right from Google Classroom and work on it and turn it in through um, there. You can also, you know, of course, create it from Google Drive or just Google Slides, either way you want to do it. Um, but this is a good program to look at, or this is a good um, how-to to look at to see um, how to turn in those assignments that you have to create a Google slide from scratch. And then finally, um, you'll have a small group test, just like always, using Google Forms, and the password is CLAM. Okay, so from there, what we have left is uh, digital citizenship. This stuff will be released on Monday. So you'll have um, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday to work on small group unit. And then um, digital citizenship will uh, come out on Monday. Um, on digital citizenship, it will be due on Wednesday. So you'll have three days to work on it. Um, the assignments on here are not very long though. Um, all you'll need to do is go through the notes. And as you go through the notes, you'll see that there are some videos embedded in here that you can go ahead and watch. Um, when you watch them, just hit present and it'll show you and it'll go through the slide presentation and you can watch the videos. Um, there are three areas in here where we have watch and discuss. So under self-image and identity, you'll have a watch and discuss. Under digital footprint, you'll have a discuss. And for uh, cyberbullying, you'll have a discuss. So a watch and discuss. So um, what you'll do there is to answer these questions, you'll go over to um, this watch and discuss paper here, fill this out, um, and turn it in. So you'll have a little turn in button up here in the corner. Um, for the second to last slide, you have a reflection paper. Um, there are several questions that you'll answer, um, and you'll write up about a half page single space 12 point font um, answering these questions. And the paper for that one is right here. So you'll fill out this sheet, and then you'll have a little turn in button up here um, to turn in that paper. So once you have that done, um, the only other thing to do for this unit will be the digital citizenship test. Um, the password for that one is ethics, and it's just like all the other tests you took before using Google Classroom. Um, on Wednesday as well at 8 a.m. is when your final will come out. Um, you'll have from uh, 
8 a.m. on Wednesday till about 1 o'clock on Thursday. I do have to have your grades turned in on Thursday, so you'll have until noon on Thursday to take the final. Um, for the final, uh, the password is practice, and with Google Forms, um, it's just it goes over everything that we've gone over during the course of the semester. It's, it does not cover this right here, so you don't have to worry about this section. Every section, though, or every unit after that, though, um, will be tested. So small group, persuasion, unit two, and unit one will all be tested. So once again, unit one, unit two, persuasion, and small group will be tested. You do not have to worry about this area right here. Um, so all the study guides that you've done over the course of the um, class, you can use those for the test. And uh, yeah, that'll be it. So this is the last and final assignment that you all will do. So um, yeah, that's it. Um, once again, we will not meet next week to talk. This will actually be the last meeting that we have. Also, um, yeah, I mean, final, the last day of class is Thursday of next week, so make sure um, and have everything turned in by then. On Wednesday is when I want all your late assignments due, so every assignment we have in here, I want turned in by the end of the day Wednesday. Um, so the only thing you'll have to work on on Thursday is your final, if you need to at all. So uh, keep that in mind as you're completing assignments and, um, you know, please don't fall behind. Also, if you have any questions at all, uh, feel free to email me um, or you can send me messages through uh, Google Classroom as well. So whatever, whatever you all need to do to get help, um, by all means, contact me um, as often as needed. So that's all I have. Um, you all have a great weekend and yeah. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.